All right, y'all, so look behind me at this sign. So, I can't tell you how to find this. It's against all the rules. I'm Parker Brewer, and I travel the roads less taken. Follow along as I go way off the beat. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're up at Landscape Arch hanging out behind me there. This is a super cool arch because it's literally like eight feet thick at the, at the most part there, if you can see back there. It's super thin. It's not going to be here in like 30 years. It's going away. But we're up here. We're going to grab some of this amazing pink morning light and then keep going through. We think we might be able to find petroglyphs today if we can um, deal with scrambling over all these fins. Um, but they think they're a secret petroglyphs we've heard about, so we're gonna go try to find those at, uh, at, uh, Devil's Garden. And Dark Angel, yeah. y'all so look behind me at this sign so I can't tell you how to find this it's against all the rules but there are secret petroglyphs near dark angels and if you come across this sign you basically gotten there you have to come down an escarpment um, not far from dark angels uh, we looked a lot for blog information and kind of on Atlas Obscura for information and there's not a ton um, and that's kind of on purpose. They don't really want people finding these, a ton of people, because they'll kind of erode and be destroyed. But they are here. You gotta come looking. They're absolutely amazing. So cool. Yeah, so we need to talk a little bit about the history here because as you can see behind me, maybe, maybe not. No, I'll get some shots for you. Anyway, these are Anasazi um, uh, petroglyphs. And if you don't know much about the Anasazi, they're, um, they're a really, really old Native American tribe that actually were, uh, like, kind of existed from, like, the 6,000s, um, and then, uh, the height of their civilization was in, like, the two, like, one, like, 1200 BC or something like that, and I think they disappeared pretty soon after that. But they're said to have been contacted by aliens. And so, um, a lot of the drawings here have these kind of like devilly looking alien people which is really interesting um but to give you an idea like six thousand years ago if these are three thousand to six thousand years old like that is back in the time of like the ancient egyptians the pyramids so while the pyramids were being built here are there in egypt here in the southwest the anasazi were communing with aliens and drawing petroglyphs and living out in this amazing otherworldly landscape um, you just don't see things like this on the East Coast, y'all. This just you just don't. This is such, this is so quintessentially American Southwest. Wow. 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 
y'all so that has been the petroglyphs they are three to six thousand years old like i said um it's getting pretty warm and pretty exposed and we've got kind of an exposed hike back so i think we're gonna try to make our way back to the car and get some gatorade victory we have gotten to the end we're back at the parking lot okay y'all so the one thing i have to tell you about this hike is that it is you have to start early. It's so freaking hot. It's like 11, 15 right now. Maybe not quite. And it's so, so freaking hot. Um, and like I tapped out my two liter uh, water bladder um, uh, just now. And it's not even like one o'clock yet, anything like that. It's really hot. Please come with extra water. They do have a water filling station at the trailhead, but it's a serious hike. It is uh, exertion, all of that. It's worth it. By all means, you'll see in the footage, of course, but just be prepared. We're gonna head back to town and get some food. y'all so we had lunch delicious Tex-Mex with some of the best tomatillo salsa I've ever tasted but um, then we went back and hung out for a little while we are headed up to catch the sunset at Delicate Arch um, we're gonna grab some photos and possibly grab some night photography we'll see how we're doing we're both feeling a little bit sore from today um, and so we're just gonna kind of play things by ear and see how we feel we head out in the morning so this is our last night and we don't want to waste anything of course but uh we feel like we've capitalized on the opportunity so far, so we're pretty excited to come and check out this, the symbol of Utah, you know, it's on their license plate, it's the state kind of logo. So it's an important thing in the history of this state and in its identity, and so uh, we're gonna go check it out, grab some photos. So this is the end of our Moab Arches Canyonlands adventure. It has been just absolutely gorgeous. It's my first foray into the Southwest and uh, wow, wow, I'm coming back. I'm definitely coming back. This has been one of the most unreal trips I've ever done, really. And uh, yeah, I've learned actually quite a lot about hiking and about kind of my own endurance abilities um, and about photography and it's been a really big trip. Um, we've been running on about four hours of sleep and we get to sleep in an extra hour tomorrow before the flight and we're really looking forward to that. Um, and yeah, plane leaves at 11.30 tomorrow morning. 
we need to be there on 9.30, I think. And, uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm exhausted, so I'm having trouble, like, saying, speaking. Um, but yeah. Alright, folks, so if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Like the video, because, uh, I do stuff like this. Well, not like this. I do outdoor adventure stuff like this, kind of, all the time. Um, but, uh, I'm hoping to be able to get out of North Carolina more often now, uh, and get back to doing some more interesting travel stuff. Um, all that really depends on what happens with the coronavirus and how things continue to go, but so far this trip has seemed really safe and, uh, and like not really that much of a risk in the end. The only really tricky part was getting flying on the airplane um, and traveling through the airports, but you know, just wearing a mask really will kind of address all that. So yeah. All right, folks, thanks a bunch for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, and uh, I will see you all next time. Bye.